Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a feature of Backend List that allows you to restrict access to individual files or folders in your Backend List storage. This feature would apply equally to either static content located in the file storage or Node.js scripts which you deploy into Backend List as well. For the purpose of this example, I uploaded the file called backendlistlogo.png. We can take a look uh, at this file if we were to get the URL of the file and open it up in the browser. So we, we see this is the contents of the file. And uh, right now, since I just pasted the URL of the file, anybody can load this file and uh, download it without any restriction. I can restrict access to this file by clicking on this, on this icon. And if I go into roles and disable read access for not authenticated user and try to reload this file by the URL, then I'm going to be getting an exception back saying that there are no permissions. So to allow downloading this file, one would have to log in, authenticate themselves, and then be able to download it. To demonstrate authenticated access, I'm going to be using one of the users in my uh, users table, specifically mark at backendless.com, and I put together a Java program that uh, exactly that does exactly what I just said. Uh, it logs in uh, a user, uh, establishes a session and now we have user token that represents that session and then we're going to be accessing uh, the file that I presented to you earlier uh, by doing an HTTP GET. In order to provide security context for that HTTP operation we need to pass in the user token and the user token is established when a backendless user logs in into the application. So we are obtaining the user token using the API and then uh, sending that user token back uh, with uh, HTTP GET. And then what we're going to do is once the file is loaded, we're just going to save it locally in the file called localimage.jpg. Let me run this application. So now, as you can see, the file is loaded and we can actually see it right here, localimage.jpg. So this file came in and we were able to download it only because uh, we were providing user token. In fact, if I were to comment these two lines out and rerun this code, and as you can see, we're getting a security exception back saying uh, that uh, a user needs to be logged in and there is no access for the non-authenticated users. Additionally, uh, you might consider the following scenario where a user is logged in, but on the server side, if we go back to the file storage and open up the security for this file, you can say that authenticated users also cannot obtain this file, in, but only specific user can. And in this case, if I don't make any further changes and rerun this application, even though I'm providing user token, if I run it again, then I'm going to be getting an exception back for the reason that authenticated users are not allowed. And this can be circumvented by going to users permissions for the file in question and then granting a permission to a specific user. So read, we're going to grant permission for that user. Now if I run exactly the same code, then I will be getting the file back so there are no exceptions and the file is downloaded and we can access it. This demonstrates how to download files for authenticated users. Thank you and happy coding!